Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. This video is an extended version of one I made yesterday about the sinking of the Titanic. The Titanic sank on April 14, 1912. But our story begins two years earlier. Earth was about to pass through the tail of Halley's Comet. There was a widespread belief that this could lead to massive storms, plagues, and political instability. The head of Halley's Comet was 42 times the size of the Earth, and the tail was 62 million miles long. People were very concerned about the effect this might have on Earth. Concern about the effect of comets goes back to at least the year 700 AD. The comet of 1664 1665 was quickly followed by a plague outbreak in London and the Great Fire of London. It would be difficult to determine if Halley's Comet caused it, but there was a tremendous change in the weather patterns during March of 1910. March 1910 was the warmest March on record in the United States, with temperatures averaging about 10 degrees above the long-term mean. Two-thirds of afternoon temperature readings in the United States during March 1910 were over 60 degrees Fahrenheit and the United States sank into an historic drought at the same time in March 1910. The drought was very severe, and it lasted well into 1911. During August of 1910, what may have been the largest forest fire in U.S. history occurred in Idaho and Montana. Three million acres burned in just over 24 hours, the flames were 300 feet high, and there were hurricane force winds. And by September of the following year, it was reported that there was record heat around the world and unprecedented melting in the Arctic. Almost all of the glaciers in Switzerland were rapidly disappearing during 1911. There was a 70-day-long heat wave during the summer of 1911, which killed 40,000 people in France. The heat killed hundreds of babies in England. New England had their worst heat wave on record during July of 1911. The Boston Globe reported temperatures of 112 degrees in Maine and 110 degrees in New Hampshire. Thousands of people died from the heat in New England during the summer of 1911, many of whom committed suicide to escape the heat. July 4, 1911 was by far the hottest July 4th on record in the United States, with temperatures about 8 degrees above the long-term mean. About three-quarters of the United States was over 90 degrees Fahrenheit on July 4th, 1911. And it wasn't just the summer that was hot. Missouri recorded many record warm days throughout the year during 1911. New England had record heat waves during 1911, not just in July, but also during April and May. The Virginia record for the longest stretch of consecutive days over 90 degrees Fahrenheit occurred at Purcellville during 1911. Tennessee had many record hot days throughout the year during 1911. And it wasn't just the days that were hot. Nights in Tennessee were very hot during 1911 as well. In fact, the average minimum temperature in Tennessee during 1911 was the highest on record there since 1895. Greenland reported an incredible temperature of 94 degrees Fahrenheit during the summer of 1911. The unprecedented warmth of 1911 led to an unprecedented amount of icebergs in the North Atlantic. And this led to the sinking of the Titanic during April 1912. So let's take a look at how the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change reports on the record heat of 1911. They show the record heat of 1911 as being one of the coldest years of the last millennium. But fake graphs from academia and the government aren't going to bring the people who died on the Titanic back to life. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on the climate scam for more than 16 years. You can visit him and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.